All right, ninjas, we're here to pick up these leaves. <laughs> hey, here's a ninja. Um, how much did it blow back into the front yard? Not much at all. So that's actually pretty good. I mean, the property lines would like right here, actually, guys. So don't don't look at that. <clears throat> but here's the pile. So it really hasn't moved. Uh, the front, I guess you could use a uh, little bit of a. I could use a blower and just kind of, you know, blow some more of it back towards that little pile we have down there. But that's about it, guys. So it's not bad at all. We brought the dumpy. Yeah, that's his name, Dumpy. Dumpy. Tiny Dumpy. And then you got Turfy, you got Walkie. Yep. Oh, Turfy, yeah. and then uh, we got the old red, 93. Pizza's like, we should call that the old red. I'm like, uh, I've been calling it the old red for a couple of years now. So, and I've got some stuff in here that uh, when we were trimming, or pizza was trimming for a while back, it's just been sitting here. So, uh, well, this is the plan, ninjas. We're going to throw all this in here. Tomorrow, I've got a big... Well, not a big, but like a shrubbery cleanup job. And we're gonna bring the dump trailer with us on that job as well. And that, at that point, officially, the dump trailer will be somewhat full and it'll be worth actually going to the dump to uh, pay for getting everything, uh, you know, dropped off or, you know, left at the dump. We put the vacuum here because there was nowhere else to put it. And it's not that heavy really with two guys. Each one, uh, each one of us on each side of the vacuum, we just lifted up. Yeah, but we had all this brush in here, so. So I'll try to set up a camera here somewhere where it's either recording a little bit of pizza while he's working on the bigger pile, a little bit of me while I'm working on that pile, whatever I end up putting, but uh, you guys will uh, get to see us a little bit in action, but I'm real happy that uh, the pile really did not spread. Um, throughout the yard as some of you might have suggested or thought that it might and honestly I'm surprised I thought it would be more because it's been real windy ever since we did this job okay. there you go you got this by yourself right while I record the camera depends on how violently you wanted to hit the ground uh, not at all alright well then no. <laughs> <laughs> alright ninjas We'll see you here in a sec. By the way, just so you know, Pizza has already lost the clamp to my new vacuum. We stopped at two different places and they don't have the size of that clamp that came with it. So he bought some duct tape and hopefully it'll uh, hold for this job, but I'm gonna have to, I guess, maybe special order that clamp from where I got this. Um, so I'm not happy about it, but what can you do? Crap happens, right? I mean, it's... One of those things but uh he uh he, you know when he was hooking and unhooking the hose it must have just fallen off i guess at one of the one of the previous jobs or whatever and so hopefully uh hopefully this will hold for now as long as we don't tug on it honestly it should be fine for now but i do want to buy a new clamp and put a new clamp on that as soon as possible but here we go we're about to get started. Oh, by the way, ninjas, uh, real quick, before we get started, we have gotten some presents from, um, from <coughs> subscribers. And my customers sent me something as well. Pizza got something from Real Talk. Um, and you guys remember a while back the whole thingy with Buddy and Red Wing boots? Remember they were gonna send us a pair and then I lost touch with them. Like I tried to call them, I left them a voicemail and then they never returned my call after a while. And then finally, the guy that I was talking to to begin with finally calls me back and apologizes and says, hey, I'm sorry, you know, I didn't look at the order closely, but the boots that originally failed they are on back order or they don't make them anymore i'm not really sure what he said i don't remember either they're on back order or they don't make them anymore and so he's like you know dude <coughs> we'll go ahead and send send them to you we're gonna go ahead and send you uh some boots so i told him listen you know buddy is no longer 
with the company. So, you know, you don't have to send anything. I told them they don't owe me anything. I, I did tell them that several times. And I'm, I was really appreciative that they even contacted me back and still wanted to send me something or send us. And, uh, you know, the pizza's got the Carhartt boots, remember from Carrie, Kenny, what was it? Kenny, Kenny or Carrie, Kelly. Thank you. And real talk gave you a Christmas card or yeah, Christmas uh, gift. Thank you. Appreciate it, real talk. No, oh, he got a, a Zaxby's twenty-five dollar gift card. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, so anyway, I told him, buddy's no longer with the companies, and honestly, they don't owe me anything. It's not a big deal. So they said they got these new boots that came out, and uh, he said, uh, would I like a pair of steel toes? or non-steel toes and I was like really you're gonna still send me a pair and he's like yeah we we want to send you a pair why not and I'm like I really don't care whatever you want to send me I'll be happy to try it out steel toes or not so guys this company is freaking awesome man they send me two brand new pairs and one of them is steel toes and one of them is not look at that this one is not the steel toe. Alright. That's so cool, man. I am so speechless. Um, so, guys, I will, you know... Sorry. I will definitely do the, uh, more closely the unboxing and show you up close. And this is from Real Talk, the... $25 Axby's gift card for pizza, so that was pretty cool. Really nice of you, real talk. Uh, and then this is the steel toe ones that they've sent me. I mean, guys, you know, you guys know these boots are not cheap. I mean, you're probably looking at right under $200 for one pair, and they send me two brand new pairs. Yeah, these are the steel toes. Um, and they sent me my size, and... I told them, you know, they, they don't owe me anything. There's no need because Buddy is no longer with the company. And the guy that I was talking to, Sam, he was so cool, man. He was like, no, we're going to go ahead and send you. And then they asked me, you know, if I wanted the steel toes or not. And I said, I really don't have a preference, honestly. Uh, I've worn steel toes before for my other jobs that I've had in the past. And right now I told them I'm wearing, uh, it's not a steel toe, it's a titanium toe, which is pretty a lot lighter than a steel toe so he really wanted me to try both of them and he said hey I'm gonna send you both of them so and that was I, I was surprised by that that was like the last minute thing they emailed me so man Red Wings and Sam I really appreciate you guys so I will definitely do more of a thorough like opening show you guys and I'll be wearing them and then uh, give you my honest review about them and if I really like them I'm, I'm a Timberland guy. I've always owned Timberland boots, but if I like them, I may be switching to Red Wings and stick with it, so, uh, and stick with them. So, we'll see. But uh, I wanted to share that with you. Pizza, what do you think? Well, dude, you're almost done. <laughs> so, Pizza's idea is, hey, Nick, why don't we go ahead and use a shovel and a pitchfork and just toss it on over, so. The pitchfork's not working so well. No, so maybe the shovel is. I mean... Oh yeah, you got a good bit of that. All right, so we'll get started, ninjas. But I wanted to share that with you again. Uh, Red wing boots and the real talk for pizza. Um, that was really nice of everyone. So, oh, and then my um, my customer sends me a gift card for um, for just like a uh, convenience store, like um, like Win Dixie or we have a Food City. So. That was pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and give that to my wife. I'm sure she'll be she'll be able to use that. But uh, all right, we're gonna get to work. Get to work. I've been getting to work. What are you, talking about? you ain't done nothing. Like four or five scoops. No. Come on, Wait, get out of here. Yeah, that going. See you, ninjas.
And just so I'm finished over there with the vacuum. It took me about two, three good uh, two bags to fill this up, and then one more bag that's full, and then I'm done. And Pizza's over here still struggling with this. This pile was five times. So um, one of our arguments between each other was, I said we're going to use the vacuum because it's easier. You vacuum it. You you know you stop, take the bag off, throw it in the trash can, and you know. And he said. No, 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 Nick. No, because then we're going to be double handling it. I don't care. So he said, no, I'm going to use the shovel, which is a snow shovel, I guess, whatever. And I want to do that. I'm like, okay, do that. You do that while I do that. And then he grabs the camera after I left it right here, walks over to me to record me for a little bit. And I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I need to take a break. I'm, breathe, I'm out of breath. I'm like, okay, uh, why are you coming over here with the camera? Well, uh, I was waiting for you because we're going to go ahead and use the vacuum because a lot of them are wet. And uh, what we're going to do is instead of using the trash can, when the vacuum fills up, we'll just lift the bag in here. I never said that shoveling it was going to be easier. I said it was going to be faster because we're not double handling the material. So here's the thing. Two things now faster harder easier a little bit longer learn from that so ride home like that and i'll close this tarp on you i'll sit back here and vape yeah you want to do that vape back vape, you want to do that with my new mod people be like the trailer's on fire you want to do that no not really ninjas it's a wrap we're done i didn't record anything in the back but i did go to the back and uh and clean that up pizza's just kind of blown off around it finishing up but it's a wrap big pile gone we had to muscle that vacuum up there but uh it wasn't too bad if i mean and if it wasn't leaves and other stuff in there and brush yeah it would have been a lot easier right but we were having the hustle and muscle Oh, peace, you poor baby. Yeah, it's laundry night anyways. Oh, peace, you actually, poor baby. Actually, last night was laundry night, but somebody wanted to have a bonfire. Yeah, I wonder who. That's right. Shut your mouth, peace. That's right. Uh-huh. All right, ninjas, hope you enjoyed a little bit of that uh, footer footage of uh, leaf pickup and... Uh, muggy in here it's starting to actually rain they're calling for 50 percent chance tonight 100 and a hundred percent chance tomorrow well, at least that's what they said this morning. right so you know um if it is raining 100 percent tomorrow then uh obviously it's just going to turn into a uh, maintenance day which is I like way past due honestly yeah. and like uh things on the list yeah <laughs> but if it's not raining i mean uh, you know there's there's a job that i got to get out of the way uh, and I promised that I would take care of it uh, this week because uh, next week is, you know, Christmas and all that. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.
if I see anything interesting on the way home, I'll record it like myself again because I know I'm very interested. <laughs> Big shout out and thanks again to Red Wings. Real talk. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I really do. That's a great he, Christmas present. He hooked you up again with Zaxby's. And I'm going to hook my sister up with the mill at Zaxby's. There you go. See, he's paying it forward. Um, and like I said, shout out the Red Wing boots because that was pretty cool. Uh, they found out, you know, that um, Buddy was no longer with us. I told them they don't have to send anything, but then they hooked me up with that. And they saw Pizza got those Ever Boots. He still hasn't even taken those out of a box. Nope. I'm going to save them for when so, they get wet or something and I need dry ones the next day. Yeah, so you, he's still got the Carhartts that he absolutely loves. I'm in love with these things. <laughs> I may actually look into some of those maybe next season. The only thing that's uh, appealing to me with those is no tying, just slip on. It is convenient, but the one thing I don't like about the slip on is there's no ankle support when you're on hills. No ankle support. No ankle support on hills whatsoever. So, um, yeah, it's starting to rain. As they said it would. So we kind of got this leaf job right in time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, so he's got the Ever Boots. He hasn't even touched them. He said he's going to keep those for backup. He's got the Carhartts. I've got those Ever Boots that I was wearing. They're great, but you really need some insoles for them. To, I'm just being honest. Uh, I'm using still my Timberlands, and I'm using those as a backup. And now I've got two Red Wings, one steel toe, one non. So I will be putting those to the test and... Uh, seeing how they are but that very very grateful and thankful thank you so much red wings so all right see you ninjas i don't think i'll record anymore rain's coming we gotta go home see you tomorrow, tomorrow. that's all i can say tomorrow 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 i'll see you tomorrow bye you too <laughs>